spread. All right, next and final game for the show. I actually have a couple more, but I'm going to really break this one down. I'm talking Jets, Saints, 1 o'clock east at the Super uh, Superdome. Big number in this one. The Saints open 15, taking money now. They're 16. Total got bet up to 48 as well. New Orleans, 1,300 on the money line. And they also find themselves being very good against the number all year. Let me tell you why this very high opening number is actually getting driven upwards. Reason number one, Saints are good as the favorite. As a matter of fact, this Saints squad has covered seven of eight as the official Vegas favorite. They're covering nearly 90% of their games with a 7-1 record against the spread when laying the points. Reason number two for the Saints taking money. The Superdome. These guys are just absolute covering machines in the friendly confines. The Saints are covering nearly 70% of their games at home. That puts them at 4-2 and two against the spread in their games at the Superdome. Even better, the Saints squad has covered four of their five games as the official home favorite. That means they're literally 4-1 against the spread when laying the points at their home field. And reason number three for the Saints taking money, the Jets on the road. When the Jets travel, they can't cover for shiznit. And as a matter of fact, this Jets ball club has failed to cover five of six games on the road this year. They literally covered just one of six away from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey. But wait, it gets worse for Jets betters. Don't be swayed by that large number on the spread. The Jets have gone a winless, pathetic 0-4 against the spread as the official road underdog. When the Jets aren't expected to cover, well, they don't. Now, when it comes to the scoring, we've actually seen a few unders out of both of these ball clubs. Jets games went 2-2 two two to the under in their last four. They averaged just five points per contest in those two unders. Meanwhile, believe it or not, very similar story on the New Orleans side of things. Saints have gone 2-1 to the under in their last three. They averaged just 18 points of scoring in those two unders as well. Keep in mind, they lost two of their last three. So all that in mind, it really is an extremely high number to play, although I think the Saints should be getting the job done in this one. Certainly, if you held a, uh, a Glock to my head, uh, I'd probably lean toward the Saints laying the number. I do really favor a play on the total in this one, though. I'm really leaning toward the under. I just don't think the Jets can score enough points, although they always prepare well for good teams. And uh, it always seems like the Saints games get bet up two or three points by the closing number. I think that trend's been pretty pertinent for the last couple of years. So all in all, I'm going to forego a play on the spread and the money line. Look for the Saints to be in a ton of money line parlays this weekend, by the way. But what I will do is make a play on the total. All told, I'm going to disagree with the public action and take the under 48 in this one. All right, folks, that's almost